Well, I'm here. I just got here at Brentwood Park. Um, that's Lane School. Oh, where is it at? Lane School right down there. And I came here, uh, I went to the school once, didn't find much. But um, this uh, park, if you go to my website, metaldetectingoregon.com, click on the forums tab, and then click on the uh, forum that's labeled uh, Oregon Treasure Trail Society. There's a list of parks that the club has hunted, and the second list at the bottom shows items, notable items that have been found at the parks. This park has produced some really good finds. Um, it's been hunted twice by the club, so it's pretty been beaten to death. But uh, I'm out here again just uh, looking around, seeing what I can find. And unfortunately, I've got some sort of a park official guy that's pulling up, and I hope he uh, doesn't tell me to leave. So we'll wait and see what happens. Anyways, my first uh, find of the day is right underneath the surface here and it says uh, Rico's Red Lion Pizza Ice Cream and Games token so no cash value for play only oh I got a game token get that in the light Well, a little more info on this uh, park. Um, there is a small playground over there. Um, there is a, I know that there's a soccer field over in this area. It's a baseball diamond, a soccer field. So, and uh, I'm going to make my way across the soccer field and over to the big trees over there. Uh, this was giving me a funky sound. Um, it's a cross. So this is my second cross that I found. My first one was the silver one. And uh, this one looks like it has a bunch of costume stones on it. It was reading up uh, for me in the uh, nickel gold, you know, nickel range for the Garrett's, uh, which is in the gold, but um, looks like it may have been gold plated at one time, but more likely junk. Bring that up and show you at the end of the video. Well, I just turned my camera off. I found the uh, cross right here. I'm just walking my way to this tree. Got a signal. I wasn't, again, 100% sure about it. It's just right there on the surface. I thought I was getting a penny. And I get another piece of jewelry. Another one with a bunch of probably uh, just uh, costume jewelry. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Show you that at the end of the video. Pocket spill. Nothing valuable here, though. Five pennies. Woo. Whoopee. Well, the park's been pretty quiet, but I know that there's a lot of coins here. You just really have to go slow and grid off everything here. I've been kind of just walking. Typically as I kind of do, I just walk straight across the park a little bit, hitting this and that. I'm trying to make my way across this uh, soccer field over those tall trees over there. And then probably head out because I'm really running out of time. Um, yeah, so it's a really nice park. Um, summertime it's probably really good. There's a really nice volleyball set over there. Two volleyball sets. Nice big sandy area. So, um, uh, a couple nice picnic tables, get some good shade, 
So a great place to come back late summer. Um, keep your eye on, uh, try to do maybe city events and see if there's anything going on here. Um, where I found those two pieces of jewelry were pretty close to where those people are s sitting over there. And um, I thought, well, maybe there was some sort of a uh, jewelry fair or something, because I started to find them really close. But it was just those two items and uh, some other piece of metal that I found that I picked up. I didn't show that one on the camera, but uh, I have no idea what it was. Um, I should be getting... Uh, Penny signal here, or possibly a dime. Of course, it's always twice as hard to do one-handed, so I don't recommend uh, doing this one-handed, and I only do that one-handed because I don't have a tripod for my cell phone. So, I haven't been showing you too much. Oh, it's just a piece of metal here. Um, I've been finding uh, a couple quarters, some dimes and pennies. Nothing overwhelming. A couple nickels, too. And, uh, you know, it's not like they're just popping out of the ground. So, it's pretty quiet, but uh, overall, not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, another little uh, tip. And I'm not one to give tips because I'm so new at this myself. But think about uh, middle of summer, 90, 95 degrees, park is full of people, and where are they going to be sitting at uh, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, the hottest time of the day, especially if they're watching sport games. They're going to be in the shadows or in the shade. So um, think about that. People are going to lay out their blankets. It's going to be hot. And they're going to be in the shaded areas, probably. So, think about the time of day. And where people will be during that time of the day. The hot time. Shade. Well, not too good. But, uh, interesting enough, I'll have to wait and see what those look like when they're all shined up and stuff. But, uh, what, a buck sixty-nine? token some little metal thing i don't know a couple pieces of jewelry and that's about it no no wheat pennies um there was an interesting let me see where's that i did find an area that I, my camera was kind of not working right at the moment but um let me show you what i found um this thing Now, that may not mean much to most people, but um, to me it uh, gives me a time date. It's uh, just basically telling me that that's probably all copper, or brass, I mean. And uh, it's probably old enough in the area that I found it at that I want to go back. So the area I found that at was um, the very, very north end of the park. There's actually a little peninsula that goes off that way and heads off into the street over there. And it's an area that I didn't go to very much. And that would be a good area to really hit slow and good. So I'll clean that up and get a picture at the end.